students who are in attendance uh, in our meeting this afternoon. So before we uh, go on, I just want to bring your thought onto a realization of a passage found in the book of Psalm chapter 8, verse 1. It says here, Lord, O oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Shall we pray? Lord, bless us this afternoon. Inspire us with the help of your Holy Spirit, Lord, to let us understand what you want us to understand. Use me, dear Heavenly Father, in humility as the catalyst of blessing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You know, this chapter, David begins with him of praise, exalting the Lord for his creation of the heavens and especially for the creation of humanity. In verse, in chapter 19 of Psalm, verse 1, David also mentioned here, the heavens declare the glory of God. The sky proclaims the work of his hands. Since David had exalted the Lord for his creation of the heavens, we are going to talk about heavens. We are going to talk about our universe. You know, our universe is so massive. Do you know that? It's so vast. And it is beyond imagination. It is filled with billions of galaxies. According to the astronomy, there are 175 billions of galaxies. And you know our Milky Way, where our solar system is, system is located, is one of the billions. And trillions of stars. So far, the biggest stars in our universe is UY Scuti of Scutum. You know, before it was Canis Majoris, but UY Scuti of Scutum is larger than Canis Majoris. And along with that nearly uncountable numbers of planets, each galaxy consists of 20 billions of planets. That's a lot. Moons, we have only one moon in our Earth. Asteroids, comets, clouds of dust and gas, all swirling in the vastness of space. You know, these things were the creation of the Lord. And His creation is beyond imagination. David, aside from David, exalted the Lord for his creation of heavens. He also exalted the Lord, especially for the creation of humanity. In Psalms chapter 8, verse 4, it says here, What is mankind that you are so mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You know, David was asking the Lord, who is me? What is in me, Lord, that you are so mindful? When David realized that he was created by God in his own image, he understood why the Lord was so mindful of him. And he said in Psalms 139, I therefore praise the Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. David became grateful. On the other side of our lives, you know, it's been a year since COVID-19 pandemic affected the world's economy and our lives. 
we have this new normal. As we know, sorry to say this, it is not normal anymore. It is abnormal. All of us really suffered. Despite what we had gone through, I have a good news for all of us today. You know, God is mindful for you and for me. God is so concerned for all of us. You know, He is still in control of all our circumstances. And He will restore everything what has been broken because the Lord is a God of creation. And if He is the God of creation, nothing is too hard for Him as He created the heavens and the earth by His great power and by His outreach arm. He will restore everything in the fullness of time. May the Lord guide us this afternoon and rest assured whatever situation you may have today, remember this. God is so mindful for all of us. God bless us all.